recession what recession i mean it's like some people say they were in a recession right now and i just don't i don't don't see it because our economy is just so amazing and so great like why else would everything cost so much the more money that something costs the more rich the people are okay it, it just i just don't understand it but recession like it is like not something that is happening here like please get over yourself Ugh. Anyway, anyway, on a, on a, on a serious note. Okay. Redefining recession. So, you know, apparently if you have slower declining GDP and over some time you start to have a recession because there's less and less things being made. A lot of less people buying stuff, a lot less money that people have to purchase things, inflation going up, huh? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a recession at all now, does it? Hmm. Well, of course, the government says, oh, it's not a recession. I'm sorry, it's not. Now, how many people could have spotted this from at least a year or two years back that the entire economy was just going to collapse in on itself? Ooh, ooh, the moment, let me tell you this, the moment that the, that the orange carrot Cheeto man, okay, had all that money printed up to give out stimulus and everything, that's when you saw, okay, wow, something is crazy going on here. Okay, so when you give out all that money like that, you're just setting yourself up for terrible, terrible inflation and recession-like economic collapse, okay? So that's number one. Now, the thing is, the policies of, I read a teleprompter because I just, I can't, I can't think for myself, man. Um, You know, his policies have completely destroyed the economy even more. It's like one kind of started the job with all the money printing, but the, the economy was still, you know, starting to be really, really good and everything. And then they gaslight you into saying that the feeble old man who can't think for himself has brought back tons and tons more more jobs, which we know is not true because... <sighs> think about it for a minute, minute. If the whole country is locked down, people aren't working, people are technically unemployed because they're you know getting unemployment and whatever, and then a new president takes over and the economy opens back up, People are going back to work, back back to their jobs that they weren't fired from. They were just, you know, on 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 leave or whatever. Maybe a lot were fired. And they get a different job. Oh yeah, you added a lot more jobs in, in in history. Okay, yeah, it makes perfect sense. And then these people continue to gaslight you into saying that the economy is great as you go to the grocery store and are spending like twice the amount on food. You're spending even more in gas. And then they pass an inflation reduction bill that has nothing to do with inflation. It's about stupid climate change stuff, which, you know, has nothing to do with here and now in any sort of capacity and would probably not do anything at all for the environment. So inflation reduction, it's not going to impact now as they celebrate it as they celebrate it when the entire stock market is crashing down because the inflation report showed that it actually went up a little bit. So again, these people are gaslighting you like you wouldn't believe and people still believe them and trust them. That is the most absurd thing. Like how can, how can someone, how can P, how can you you be abused and lied to endlessly? It's like if you have an abusive partner and they just keep lying to you, they keep cheating on you, and they keep making you feel bad, but they keep saying some nice sweet things that is not true, never gonna happen, and it makes you feel good, you know, until you realize, oh, it's a bunch of lies, but you keep going back, you keep going back. It's exactly what the government does. And people still believe it. People still believe that, oh, inflation reduction bill, spending more money is going to bring down inflation. I mean, that is like a comical joke. That is like, that's like comical. I mean, (laughs) I was laughing about that. It's like, there is no way. There is no way. So, 
Let me just say this. I'm just waiting for the total collapse of the economy, the whole worldwide recession, get rid of all of the uh, currencies here to bring in the CBDCs, the central bank digital currencies to track and monitor everything that you do. And then with that, you know, they will, oh, you, you, you're, you're, you ate something that, you know, exceeded your carbon credits for this uh, day or this, or this month, you know, climate change stuff. Or, you know, you spoke out against the, uh, the uh, government or wait, you posted that thing on social media that offended people. So unfortunately, you're kind of locked out of your, out of your money right, uh, right now. You can't go anywhere. You can't spend or anything. Oh, you have an electric car as well. So you're not allowed to leave your house because we deactivated it. Okay, so. Oh yeah, that's not a, that is a conspiracy theory, right? It's not a conspiracy theory. It is not a conspiracy theory because you see little signs here and there that all of that stuff that I just said is already happening. And you don't think the government wants even more control over what you do with your life? So anyway, that was it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this, <laughs> on this craziness. I tell you, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I guess we shall see in time now, right? Uh, I'm not a fortune teller. Doesn't mean everything I say is going to be coming true, but I think if you're prepared, if if some people listened a year or two ago and I said it's going to be, you know, this whole massive economic collapse, well, you know, it wasn't going to happen like like that. It's a slow burn. It's a slow burn and it's 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 burning. It's burning hard as you can see. So, anyway, you'll take care of a great one and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.